Hey everybody, welcome to the fifth episode of the CSWPA Surfacing Series. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at joining together three cylindrical surfaces using surfacing techniques. If we take a look at our three cylindrical surfaces, we can see that we'd want to have the middle section joined by all three. We could use a weldment style join here, kind of like when you would butt three corners together, but using surfaces always looks better and is just a different technique that we can use. What we could do is have the side sections lofted together and then use a filled surface on the top and bottom region. So let's do that. What we first need to do though, before we get into surfacing, is split the surfaces into four segments so we could loft the two sides and then use the filled surface on the top and bottom. What we can do is create a plane perpendicular to the axes the cylinder runs on and then create some lines that will split the surface into four so that we can have four different edges for surface creation. We can use the split line to use our sketch to split the surface and we can do the same for the other two. I've sped up the video of the other two as it is the same process. Next we can create our lofts on the sides between our surfaces. In some cases, the edges are split in more places than desirable. The reason for this is beyond the scope of this video, however if we want to use more than one edge for a single profile, we can right click to access the selection manager and then select the three mouse icon option selected to have the two edges used as the profile. When we are creating this loft, we have to make sure that our start and end points are at the same point. These are shown by the green and pink points. The end points or the pink points are not always shown and you can drag them along the profile to basically line them up. Much like the split line, I don't need to show the other three, so I'll just use a rotational pattern. Next, for the filled surface, quite simply, we can select all of our edges on the top and then use the curvature option for each edge. This fills our top surface. We can do the same on the bottom and it would complete our part. The merging of these three surfaces using this method is quite nice looking. Of course, in an exam situation, something like this would be more strictly given to you in terms of the definition of the part, but that's something you have to worry about during the exam and something that'll make sense when you get to the exam if you take it. If you learned anything, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get notifications for when I post new educational content, and I'll see you in the next video.